Okay. What is this for, Banu? Uh, this is for uh, stenciling in the cardboard. Uh, it, sh it shows the sounding of the cardboard. Okay. Mr. Cadet, what do you do other than the stenciling no. work? Playing with my son, of course. Then? Uh, then I used to take sounding and quotes, and sometimes also take sounding. Uh, sounding of bills is also taken during voyages. Okay. And Speak louder. And after that. I used to go at watch at 4 to 8, morning also and evening also. Morning 4 to 8 and evening? 4 to 8. 4 to 8, okay. Along with the other officers? Along with the chief officer. Oh, same timing as the chief officer, okay. And then, then chief officer used to teach me all, all the subjects in which I have doubts and... Okay. And then... Okay. In my spare time, I used to play guitar and watch mo movies. Then you get a lot of spare time. <laughs> then go to gym. Yeah, Sometimes I used to go to gym also, but very rare. Okay. Then this is your second contract, right? Yeah, this is my second, and I have already completed my. Months on board training program. Okay. Then now I'm after my sign up, I'll be prepared for my second mid exams. Okay. Second mid exams or third mid or not? Second mid na third officer. Third and second board exams. Oh, apriya. No. Okay, okay. No. Now I already done stenciling. He used to stencil to do it. Okay, this is max sounding and what is this for? This is the maximum sounding of the cargo hold bills. Uh, cargo hold. Okay. Um, now, now I have already cut it and now I'm going to do stenciling on the cargo hold. Okay. So do you like cargo ships or tanker ships? Both ships are of different types and and they all uh, and they have different uh, type of work so can't compare okay so which one you like like you prefer i still prefer bulk area okay so yeah, yeah, but you have no experience in bulk area yeah, right yeah. but i already have done six months hey, hey, oh, yeah. bulk oh, area. okay and six months in tanker so okay Okay, so we'll move on to paint this. Yeah, we will paint this on. Okay. The wall where the stenciling has to be done is usually painted the previous day itself. This area has to be completely dried before starting with the stenciling. So the cadet is making sure that it's completely dry by rubbing it with a cloth and then placing the stencil cutout on top of it. Now he has given a yellow background, so contrast to that he is going to use red color paint on this stencil.
It is very difficult when stenciling is done on the deck. The weather will be rough, the wind speed will be very high and the waves will be very strong. But work will go on as usual and all these factors will not be considered an excuse at all. This is the final look of Mac sounding once it's completed. Each and every detail is stenciled in their respective locations throughout the ship and is updated from time to time so that it's very easy even for a layman to understand. Every room is named properly and all the boxes are also stenciled according to the items present inside the box. Any person at any location in the ship can just go grab the item they want and they don't have to search for it anytime. It might sound like a simple task but in huge vessels like these, stencils have to be updated in thousands of places and photographs have to be sent to company as a proof of this work. This work is supervised by the chief officer and most of the times it is done by the cadet and sometimes the third officer also helps the cadet with this work. This is the alleyway outside the officer's mess and launch and the diagrammatic representation of smoke detectors present in this alleyway is drawn on the floors. This amazing work was done by the previous third officer on this ship and it is truly impressive. As you walk down the alleyway, they have given a clear representation of where the staircase is exactly present. So looking at this arrow mark, my son exactly goes to the door which has the staircase. And there's another smoke detector on this alleyway and that is also marked very clearly. Whenever there is a new electrical officer on ship, it is his duty to check the working condition of all the smoke detectors present. And it also comes handy when there is a fire alarm. So searching for these kind of smoke detectors on each and every alleyway is very very difficult and impossible during emergencies. So stenciling like this really comes handy and it saves a lot of time. Now when we open the door to the staircase, you can see another stenciling here which says door operating area keep clear. If this marking was not there, someone might stand here unnecessarily and will get hit if someone else opens the door. Since this marking is so clear, everyone in the ship knows that they shouldn't be standing in this area at any point of time. And in this alleyway, just by looking at the floor, you can easily find out where the smoke detector is. Right up there, straight to this marking, you find the smoke detector there. My sailing experience has taught me, simple things in life when kept well organized can save us a lot of time and make our life really, really easy. Hope you guys understood the importance of this stenciling and how it is done. Meet you again in another informative video. Until then, stay subscribed and stay tuned to our channel. Take care. Bye-bye, guys.